Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a Coach Rogue collection video. I no longer have any of the top handle type rogues or I guess the double top handle type rogues because now there is a single top handle rogue which I can pop a picture of in here. It comes in all sorts of different colors. That's just one example. But at one time I had, I believe over 25 Rogue 25s by Coach. And let me just pop a picture of what I'm talking about in here. Sorry for all the photographic breaks, but I just wanna make sure we are on the same page because I think that those bags are beautiful. Both styles actually, but particularly the Rogue 25. The Rogue 25 also comes in a larger size, which is the 30 or the 31, depending on what year you buy your bag from or what year your bag was made. But the 25 was the style that I really liked and I went gaga for. And that was before I became a YouTube personality that I collected those and I sold all of them. And the reason is, is that when I put them on, I like to wear them by the shoulder, not carry them top handle, which now I might be a little more receptive to carrying them. I have discovered I do like using my Marc Jacobs Mini the Tote Bags as a crook of the arm type bag, but I like with those how the handle stays upright. So for a little eye candy, I like to carry these Marc Jacobs the Tote Bags like this. I mean, not with my arm like this, like punching myself in the face, but you know, lower. I have to hold it higher because of how my camera is set up, but I also like holding them by the top handle. For me, the issue with the Rogue was that the handles folded down. And while that's really nice when you wear it under the shoulder, it's just not functional for me if I want to carry a top handle because I'm always having to grab those handles up off the sides of the bag. So I prefer these more rigid handles and to wear this bag crossbody when I'm not carrying it by the top handle. So that's just a functionality thing. But I did discover an additional Rogue style by Coach and it's not made anymore, but you can find them occasionally on the pre-love market. And I have four of those two of which I think are pretty darn unique. And I thought I would show those to you today. I have contemplated selling one or two of these. I don't use them very often at all. I haven't used them, I think, in more than a year, but they're so freaking stunning. And so I thought I'd make a video, maybe put my stuff in one of them and use it. That's the best way to decide if you are okay with selling a bag put your stuff in it, put some clothes on that look good with that bag, try it on, wear it in front of the mirror, take some glamour shots, you know, feel the bag, touch the bag, drive with the bag in the car next to you, and then decide if you're ready to sell it. Because if you sell it before you do those things, you may have your eyes on some prize and then that prize gets here and you're sad you sold the bag that you sold. We will get to the Rogue collection here in just a second. I did want to show you my bag of the weekend. That is this Lululemon belt bag in the large size. And I think that the color is Red Merlot, if I remember right. I wore this little, I don't know, hoodie thing from Z Supply and the tank top from Z Supply. And I've got joggers on from Z Supply, which we'll see here in just a minute. I do like Z Supply. But this beauty is what I took with me to Thanksgiving because I always freak out about my bags at Thanksgiving. I recently saw a video by Kat L and I can't remember who her special guest was, but they were talking about bags to use in different situations. And a lot of what they talked about was what bag would you carry around your family who aren't into luxury or higher end bags? What bag would you carry, you know, around friends who weren't into this or that? And for me, it's not so much that I care if my family knows how much I spent on a bag. It's more that I worry about the bag getting damaged while it's at this reunion or activity. So these are amazing bags for those type scenarios because I was okay with setting it pretty much anywhere. And it literally holds, I mean, I've showed you guys, it holds like everything. 
It holds like everything. I mean, I have, I mean, I've got everything in here. I've got my YSL card holder, my little pouch with my medicine, my Louis Vuitton key clay with like a whole ton of cards. I've got this great big pouch with all my stuff in it. I have my phone will fit in the back pocket. I mean, it's just jam packed full of stuff. I have no issues fitting absolutely everything I need in this large belt bag, which is why I prefer the large size and I keep ordering more colors of this particular bag. I have decided the small size is too small for me. I'm keeping two of them to use for events where, you know, the palm of my hand is the limit for the size because you can see this is bigger than the palm of my hand. The small size is about the size of the palm of your hand. So you can get away with that at some of these venues that restrict the size of your bag without it being clear. And so I'm keeping black and burnt caramel of the small size. And then I have like, I think five of these now with one on the way, or maybe four, I can't remember, four. I think I have four with one on the way, which I'll show you soon. So let us get into the Coach Rogue collection of mine. These are the Coach Rogue shoulder bags. Now, shoulder bags are a little different than the typical Coach Rogues that you may have seen over the last few years. Over the last few years, all of the Rogue bags seem to have had top handles, unless they're like the really little ones from the men's line or the phone size ones. There have been a few that have been called Rogues, but they haven't had any sort of handle, and they've had like a crossbody strap instead. This is totally different. This is from... I don't remember what year. I probably could figure it out if I knew how to read coach state codes, which I don't. I cannot keep that in my brain. I can remember how to read Louis Vuitton date codes, but I can't remember how to read coach ones. I don't know why, because I have like more coach than I do Louis Vuitton. But anyway, this is from the 1941 collection. The newer 1941 looking tags, they don't have the same sort of stamping on the tag this says and i don't know if you'll be able to see it but it says 1941 on the tag itself the newer ones say coach coach so some of them may be part of the 1941 line depending on whether or not they have that's not the side with the stamp whether or not they have this little stamp here on the bottom which has the 1941 in it i believe if i can remember right 1941. That is one surefire way to know if you have a Coach 1941 bag. But here is the piece de la resistance of the Coach Rogue shoulder bag. There were two styles of this bag that came out. There was one with these gorgeous chain straps with the C chain and then the leather bits for shoulder comfort. Then there were ones that had all leather straps. I do not like the ones with all leather straps and here's why. They lay really wonky. I had one at one time and I actually found some rogue shoulder straps from a top handle one that could be either shoulder or top handle and I cut the straps off of my rogue shoulder bag that had the all leather straps without the C's and that way I had detachable straps for it. But then I ended up selling it anyway. I really like the C chain. So if you like the look of the C chain, but you haven't been able to get your hands on it or you don't want to have a dangly chain because it's annoying, maybe one of these rogue shoulder bags would be right for you. Now this little piece here is a it's a little snake charm from a Coach Dreamer bag that a sales associate was generous and gifted to me a while back. The sides of this bag are lined in a glove tan leather. This bag is made out of a smooth calf leather, and I'm telling you, it is so squishy gushy. It feels freaking amazing. The color palette is beechwood with chalk on the sides, and then I believe that this is light saddle. And then the inside, I believe, is a Bordeaux or a wine color. In the center compartment, and I won't get this into depth for all of these, but I want you to know the layout. It has a pocket with a snap covered in leather on this side, and then it has a zippered pocket on this side with the Coach Creed. 
and it has that really nice twill jacquard, I don't know, woven 1941 fabric on the inside. This bag can develop a little bit of slouch. Of course, it's totally empty right now, but I love how it hits lower. I love the chain. I love the curve of the side. I just think it's a really pretty bag. Let me move a little slower. One thing that's a little annoying is this tag likes to flip inside the bag, and I do really like it on the outside. But other than that, there's really no fault that I can find with these bags. Let's move on to number two, and I will just keep on chatting about these bags and some of the differences and similarities between these and the current Rogue bags. This is twisted. There we go. This is the Heather Gray rogue shoulder bag with the black copper hardware now it did not come with this clochette this is something that came with the older style rogues in the 25 and the 30 size the first and the second generation and then they discontinued them more recently so they don't come with this anymore and of course i hung a little rexy from this particular python tag i think it's python it might be water snake but i just thought this looked really pretty with this bag and i was able to pick it up long story how i got it but i have it and then of course we got the 1941 tag with the ox blood on the back this time the interior of this bag rather than being lined in the smooth glove tan leather this one is lined in a suede and i believe again that is the ox blood suede the lining on the interior is going to be the same, except for maybe just a slightly different hue than the lining on the Beechwood color block one. Heather Gray is a super nice color. It goes with so much stuff. You can see it looks really good with my current outfit, actually. Again, this is the smooth leather. There is a rogue shoulder bag that's in more of like a Safiano type leather that does have the chain straps. And I am not crazy about that leather. It's super durable, but I love this smooth calf. I'm a very tactile person and I love, love, love the feeling of the smooth calf leather. I just think it is so, so nice to the touch and I like to pet my bags as I wear them. These bags also have feet and they've got the leather strips on the bottom. That's one thing that between the rogues in the second generation and the third generation that they took away and now they have brought that feature back again to have those leather strips on the bottom to reinforce the bottom of the bag with the feet and give you just a little more elevation so perhaps this piece isn't dragging on the bottom so that is my heather gray coach rogue shoulder bag it is simply divine so at the start of this video, I was saying that I was thinking about maybe letting one or two of these go. And now I'm starting to feel less certain of that because I really like them and they feel so, so good. So this is the color Ivy and I don't have her decorated with anything, but I do have a charm that I can hang from this little ball chain that I hooked here. I have an extra ball chain and I don't have anything hanging because these can get a little bit droopy on the front if you hang heavy stuff from them all the time so when they're on display i don't do that and to be honest i don't always hang charms on my bags anymore anyway i'm kind of growing out of that for the most part it's not that i don't think it looks good it just sort of annoys me when they're swinging around and getting out of position and turning around backwards you know but this is ivy and i don't remember the name of the color on the other side of the strap but it is like a beautiful mint green. And then the interior of this one is a floral bow. And you can see, I, I don't even remember doing this, but I'm just a genius because I think it looks super cool. So I added this little flower charm to a clip that I got from Etsy and then clipped it to the zipper pull so that I would have a little flower to pull the bag open in addition to the little flowers that are printed on the inside of the bag. Once again, the interior is the same type of woven 1941 fabric. And the bag overall is just a stunner. It's like a dark, dark green. I don't know if you can tell that. It almost looks black there, but it is a dark, dark green. The reflection of the lights on it is really not helping to distinguish the color at all. Let me see if I turn the lights off, if that might help. 
Yes. So see, look, you can see the color of the bag better with the lights off. It's a dark green and then the floral bow is the mint color. So that is the third one. I've got one more to show you. So the first time I saw this bag, I was in love and it was on another YouTube channel in one of my Facebook groups. I think it was Coach Gone Rogue. There was, there is another YouTuber and she lives across the pond. I think she's in the UK and she has this bag and I saw it and I loved it and I started searching for it and it took me a long, long time to find it. She didn't want to let go of hers and I finally found it and I don't think I'll let this one go. This one's extremely, extremely rare. It has the T-Rose right there on the 1941 tag. You can see, Let's see if I can get it to focus. Isn't that pretty? And the back of this tag is the same color. It has the rivets down the sides and you can see there's a few little dents in this bag. That's natural with the glove tan leather, but you can see it's got the T-Rose rivets to hold the bag together, has the rivets all the way around, up the back of the bag. I have never actually used this bag. She has only adorned my shelf, but I feel like this one is truly, I mean, it's a work of art. It is a stunning, stunning piece, and I really love it. Let me see if I turn the lights out on this one, if you can see. The color is oxblood. It's sort of a purpley, burgundy brown. I mean, not, it looks way, way brown compared to my burgundy top. It is definitely not, not brown. It's more of a, a burgundy brown. It's oxblood, but I thought I wanted to show it to you with the light on it and without because the smooth leather really, really reflects the light. The interior is lined with the same color leather. It's got the oxblood smooth glove tan leather on the inside and then the calf smooth leather on the outside. And then you pair that with the gorgeous, the amazing sea chain. I love it. I love it. So that is my collection of four Coach Rogue shoulder bags. They're certainly unique and I hope you enjoyed getting a peek at the ones that I have. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring my notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, please go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there, or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.